One woman told me that in, right in the middle of her labor, she realized that that great power that she was feeling was, in fact, her own. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I did it. Birth is a magical time of bringing a new human consciousness into the world. When that baby's brain is ripe for the first impressions of what it's like to be on Earth, and how it's done affects that baby for the rest of its life. Do you know how you were born? Have you had the opportunity to talk to your mother, your father, about the story of your birth? In many cultures, children grow up around birth and it's a familiar event in their lives. And they know the story of their birth. It's such an important story. We tend to believe that the way we do birth in America today is based on scientific evidence. It takes a lot of courage to look at what we've been told by our culture, by our friends, by our family, and to question those, and to ask ourselves whether things might not be better in another way. And that's the nature of birth. It's a very, very powerful shaping experience in each of our lives as babies, and then again as birthing women. But my hope is that seeing what is normal will allow us to be really free to make choices that will best serve ourselves and our children. After all, women have been birthing successfully on this planet for millions and millions of years. When I think back to the first birth I ever attended as a medical student, when I burst into tears, I remember thinking, this is the holiest, most sacred moment I've ever experienced. I was brought to my knees by it. If I could give one message to all women in the country who plan to have a baby, that message would be to take the power into your own hands. You can get it if you really want. But in this culture, it takes a lot of work to get an ideal birth because there are so many forces acting against the woman's instincts and, and uh, desires. When I'm driving to a birth, I know the woman that I'm going to. I know her deep history. I know her relationship with her mother. I know the kind of childhood that she had. I know what her fears are around this birth, and I know her deep vision. We know that pain is a state of mind, just as pleasure is a state of mind. When you create an environment of love and support around you, labor itself is very culpable. I don't think that most people know what a normal birth is. I don't think that many professionals in that field have seen a normal birth. Um, They've seen typical births. They haven't seen normal births. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh baby. Oh, oh my God, I did it. Oh my oh, God, I did it. Look at that baby, sweetie. Oh. Is your mama, sweetie? I'm okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, thank God. Oh, oh. thank you, God. I oh, did sweetie. it. Oh, my God. I did it. One of my most strongly held beliefs over the last 30 years or so has been that the baby should never leave its parents from the moment of birth. 
The way babies are meant to be is with their mothers, skin to skin, between their breasts, the outer womb. They've just been in the inner womb for nine months. Conception, gestation, labor, and delivery are the physical metaphor for how the divine comes into physical form. And so there really is no more sacred ritual than human labor and delivery.